Hi guys, welcome to Partisan to Glory. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday or you know, whatever day you're watching this on. I appreciate you nonetheless. You are allowed. I give you my written permission to watch this video on not a Thursday. How cool is that? That's amazing. Anyways, today, what are we here for? We are here for two of the biggest games on this channel to date because both games are stupidly important. We are taking on Rubin Kazan in the chance to be one of the better teams in the Group A of Europa Cup 2. And we have a chance to completely destroy Red Star in the second game, which is actually three days later. And if that's not a reason to smash that like button, just punch it, punch it, punch it. What is? Tell me. What is? That is amazing. We have a great opportunity here in front of us. Right, let's go into cover the fixtures because I think there's so much things we have to cover. I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. Let's just jump into it. So, what do you remember last time? Well, last time you would remember that we took on Nitra. So we went on, which is a lie. Whoa, why did I lie about that? Last time, oh my God, my memories. That was last week. Ha, if you tuned in last Thursday, we would be seeing Nitra. But if you tuned in last Monday, you'd be seeing Rubin. Oh my God, my memory. Since then, <laughs> oh my God. Great start to the episode, mate. Great start. We have managed to beat Chukarichki, 3-0, Markovic, Stevanovic, and Suma. Very good. Very, very good. Our team is doing very well. Our attack, our defense, our midfield is on point. Everyone's fitting together. Everyone's working their ass off. And I appreciate that. And this is kind of shows everything. We have oh, pretty much a defender. We're scoring a beautiful goal, actually, which I hope I can show it to you. That's why I'm kind of dragging out this conversation. Stevanovic in the midfield scoring and Suma up front scoring as well. See, look at that. Defense, midfield, striker. Not bad at all. Very, very not bad. Next up, Miladost, Suma, 86 minutes, saving our hides, but he also missed the penalty, so it's kind of like, mm, 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 I don't know, man, he deserved to score, but we deserve to win, and another red card, and if I'm not mistaken, I think we had three red cards in a row, no, we didn't, okay, that's a lie, but, oh, we had quite a lot of red cards, see, Kulabara, Chukarichki, and Miladost, three red cards in a row, four red cards in a row, I'm buying the league, <gasps> confirmed, anyways, 4-0 against Spartak, and that was the last game before this episode. A huge win. Zdeljar, Vlahovic, Vido, and Pavlovic. Huge, huge goals. Like, all these players are just incredible. I don't know how they've managed... No, I, wait. I don't know how I've managed to bring them together, because Zdeljar, Vlahovic, Vido, and Pavlovic are just... They're on a different level. They're actually on a different level. They're destroying all the teams. Spartak had no chance. 4-0, easy peasy, nothing really worrying some. Look at that, 5th minute, 7th minute, 20th minute, 39th minute, then we went on a holiday after that, and it was fine. Anyways, it allowed us to rotate the squad quite heavily before the Rubin game, so let's jump straight into the Rubin game. And yeah, hopefully we can win it. Let me show the team. So in the last episode, a few guys have told me that Stepanovic is actually a very good player, and I should probably play him a little bit more, and I do agree. But for this game, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to risk it, maybe, maybe, I'm, I'm, I'm just... I just don't want to put out a squad that's not yet ready. I mean, he looks much more well-rounded, doesn't he? Just a bit worse in defense. I mean, maybe marking's a bit worse, tackling. Just the defensive ability of Mat Mateja is not quite of the same level as Mishovic. So I think I'll keep Mishovic on. Yeah, I think this is the squad we're going to go for. It might butt me in the ass, but we never know. We'll try this one. So we're going to have Stojkovic in goal. Jurosovic, Mishovic, Banyak, Markovic. So kind of a steady back four. Zdeljar and Topic in the back. Ilic is going to be our advanced playmaker, not Pavlovic. Ilic has been doing pretty well for us. I like him. I really like him. And I'm going to make a video on him soon. So hopefully stay tuned on Tuesday. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. But I'm going to make a video about him. And we're going to have Suma, Bahabek, and Vlahovic up front. Kind of a normal formation. The only thing we are missing, actually. Stevanovic is a little bit tired. Vito... Let's scratch that. <laughs> Vito is going to be playing. Look at that. This man's beautiful. But we do not have our number one player, Stevanovic, which is going to be a problem. Vanya, Vanya is going to lead the line. Ooh, this is going to be a bit worrisome. We're playing at home. Hopefully we can smash Rubin. Look, if you would like to wish me luck, smash that like button because we need all the luck we can get and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing more Football Manager content, like I said, with Ilicic. Ilicic, Ilic, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know where the itch came from at the end, but he is Ilic, not Ilicic. Anyways, if you want me to pronounce names more wrong, more wrongly, subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot of more content, a lot of more wrong names. And let's jump into the Rubin game. Let's go! So, we are back for this game. We're back already. We're going to be going onto the pitch. And I have one thing to tell you guys. First of all, 
I'm going on positive because last game, I think the problem was we did get countered a few times and that was a big problem for us because we were dominating and that's good. We were dominating the play. We weren't as, I guess, good at finishing as we could have been, but that's on us. And on the counters, they made a count. So I don't want to put attacking, but we have a chance now. Illich, what's he going to do? Illich? Ooh! Is, no, that's his first goal for the club as well. Illich, it crashes off the bar. First goal for Partizan. Let's go. Absolute. No. No. Let's fix that. Oh, no one saw that. No one saw that. That is uh, the problem with my green screen is that it falls. At least it made a sound this time. <laughs> I want to have a better green screen, but it's uh, it's literally just pinned against a wall and uh, another wall. And if I move too much, it's going to be a problem. So, yeah. Worries, worries, worries. Anyways, 1-0. That was distracting you from pretty much what was happening. We just scored a goal. And that is cool. <sighs> also, there was a suggestion for me to talk about my job during these games, whereas nothing's happening. And thank you for nothing happening. So what I do is I do, I guess, let's stop Suma. Mishevich. Ooh, hits the crossbar. Oh, that was a good chance. Today to clears it. Korskelia. I need to make a video about him as well. He is very good. He's ringing. He's running. Oh, and top edge. That's a yellow. That's a yellow. Well done. Good way to stop him. And that's pretty much the best way to stop him. But the job I'm doing is I'm supervising in a COVID lab. I'm um, in charge of troubleshooting the machines. So basically, there's an automated system that uh, basically does all the science behind when, you know, you stick the swab up your nose and then how you find out results. So I do the automated system, which uh, extracts the stuff basically and then processes it and then you get the results so i do that i work in those machines and i make sure they don't break and i help the nhs staff so that's what i do anyways one nil at half time a very very good run so far that was a beautiful yellow card by topic as well right so our shooting has been average which i guess is fair nothing much has been created there is still room to improve i think we have a lot of room to improve but if we win one nil today i'll be happy right Let's jump into the second half. So I hope you have a little bit of a better appreciation for why I don't celebrate as well as I do or why I celebrate weirdly. It's because of the fact that green screen is propped up behind my chair. And that's the best I can do for now. I have a small flat and that's literally the best I can do. Vito is running away. He's got lots of space. He's got good dribbling, makes it past the first player. Is he going to do anything? <gasps> that was a good, 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 good save by Dupin. Very good. Man, a good run as well from the right side to the left side and a great finish. Shut off on the ball. We counter again. Vito counters once again. Man, it was a great decision to go in positive in the bigger games. Vito. Play of Vlachovic, please. Vito. Ooh, does a weird thing. Leaves the ball behind. Topic. Why? Why do? Why does he do the things he does? Anyways, let's praise the players. We're doing very well. Vito is getting tired. Is it time to bring more legs on? I think it is time to bring quicker legs. Bahabek is going to come on. This guy is quick. He is capable of destroying teams. And as I say that, Samoshnikov is going to put a cross in. Topic clears. No one's there to pick it up. I'm lying. Vlahovic is there to pick it up. Is he going to do anything? He does. Plays it to Zdeljar. Zdeljar plays it on the left to Suma. Suma. Slutsky said Suma is one of our key players. Suma brings it. Terentiev kills the man. Messi says a foul. Is there VAR in Euro Cup 2? Oh, that could be VAR. They're checking the penalty review. Don't forget, guys, I bought the thing. Hey, I bought the thing. I'm, I bought the league and I'm going to buy the Europe Cup, Europa Cup as well. Suma will step up. He has missed two penalties in a row. Can he not miss a third one? He doesn't. Let's go. 2-0 against Rubin. That's it. That's what we should have done. We should have played positive. Let's go. Perfect time. Smash that like button and comment how awesome Suma is and how awesome my team is. Please do all those things. You know, YouTube is pushing me out slightly. And this is what happens. When YouTube pushes me out, we win. So yeah, it's on you. It's all on you. Look at that. We are second and Rubin. Oh my God, this is such a tight league. 8-7-7. Seven, seven. If this was a Champions League, it would be cool because one of us could go, you know, in lower leagues or in a different, um, a smaller European competition. But we don't have that. So what am I going to do? Petch is just going to come on. I think I'm also going to take off Suma and I'm going to put Dragan on. Man, this is going to be awesome. But yeah, quick subs. But eight, seven, and seven, and we have a huge game remaining. So Rubin and oh, also Rubin is gonna play Monaco, and we did it. We beat, we beat Rubin. Very good result. Completely destroyed. Outplay. They had no chance whatsoever. Our shots on target, our xG, our possession was just miles ahead of them. Right. Enough of this. We're just gonna jump straight into the Red Star game. So yeah, game two. Let's go.
All right, so welcome to the second game of this episode. I hope you're having a fantastic time. I hope you're enjoying your stay here. By the way, feel free to stop for a second, grab a coffee, grab some snacks, because this is going to be a very exciting game. Uh, yeah, I think because, look, I got my coffee. I don't know how it's going to look. Wait, let me just double check on the camera. Look at that. Uh, doesn't get... Oh, that's weird. How come there's not... It's green. And it's not looking like it's disappearing into the camera. That is cool. Technology, right? That was a good recharge. Anyways, we are going to be taking on Red Star today. I hope you brought your snacks. I hope you're ready. I was wasting time so you can arrive and sit back down. But today... We are taking on Red Star Belgrade, and what we're going to be doing, we have a slightly tired team. So I think Red Star, in that regard, is a bit more lucky than us. From what I've seen, I think the expected tactic was a 5-3-2 they're going to play against me, or sorry, 5-2-3 tactic, which is fascinating, which is why I put us on positive. I'm going to go back on attacking against other teams, because a lot of teams just park the bus. I don't know if they're going to park the bus or they're going to counter, but I think... This is the team that's going to work well, considering the fact that, you know, Vito is tired, uh, Illich is tired, Vlahovic is tired. So all our key players are a little bit tired. So what we're going to do, we're going to move up and we're going to say the starting lineup. So we have Stojkovic, Jurosovic, Vujicic. Oh my God, does Jurosovic not get tired? Man, this guy's a legend. I remember I used to hate him, but he's good. So Jurosovic, Vujicic, Banyak, Zivkovic on the right, who doesn't get much game time anymore. Thanks to, um, where did he go, by the way? What? Markovic, who's also tired. Pejic and Zdeljar, very good back, defensive, defensive back too. Pavlovic, Stevanovic, finally is back. Suma is still not tired, that's fascinating. And Bahabek up front. Bahabek has completely underwhelmed and Vlahovic has been the number one guy. Look at that, 18 goals, 17 goals from Vito. <sighs> Do I risk? Oh man, I'm, I might risk. This could bite me in the butt. Do tell me in the comments if this was a mistake. I mean, to be fair, you probably could see it already at the end of the episode when the score is already blank inserted but uh, yeah I think this is a good shout there's a lot of goals up front they are the guys scoring the most goals I can't really afford to replace them they are gonna have to suck it up for a while right let's jump into the episode and let's smash red star we all well we really need to win them the fans need us to win I hope I hope I hope we win let's go oof I need to be careful Jurosovic is seeming aggressive which is not good which could be a potential yellow card or red card in the waiting what are we going for? Well, we're all walking out. We're all happy. By the way, this is probably the third of... Was it fourth or fifth Red Star game? I think it's probably the fourth. Right, if I'm not mistaken? And did you see that? Yeah, they are playing a bit of a defensive formation. So hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt too much. Falco puts a cross in to no one. Petkovic. Ooh, Falco. Ooh, Stojkovic is there. Wow, that was a lot of... Ooh, ah, e. Fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Seventh minute and already a few chances. We kick the ball forward. To absolutely no one. Our midfield does not have control of the ball. Petrovic. He's going to smash it to Vito. Vito picks it up. Ooh, Vito. Bring the ball forward. Vito. Vito Savelic. Plays to Pejic. Good job. Pavlovic. Stelzer. Beautiful play in the middle. We are playing well. Pavlovic. Our little Messi or Iniesta, more likely. Vlahovic. Vito. Vito. And just wide by Vito. That's some good play. That's some great quick passing. Yeah, as you can see, they're playing a 5-2-3. Fascinating. Like, I can't say how fascinating that is because they always play a 4-2-3-1. And maybe that's why they're losing points. Because they're no longer playing a dominating 4-2-3-1. They're playing with defensive. And I tried... That's the thing. When you try to play counter-attacking football in a lower league like this, and you're one of the big dogs, teams will be like, lol, have fun. I'm going to defend Vlahovic. Who, who did that? Who did that? Zivkovic. That is outrageous! What a play! Wow! I'm sorry, did he just... How? This guy doesn't play, he was cornered, smashed the ball forward. It wasn't even just a smash and close your eyes, it was beautiful and Vlahovic scores and Vlahovic proves to me that Bahabek should not have started, but... What in the name of everything that's holy was that pass? Smash that like, I'm gonna say smash that like button for anything that's cool, but that deserves a like, a subscribe, a comment, uh, I don't know, uh, going to the Partizan Stadium and buying the t-shirt of Zivkovic, because what the actual crap was that assist? Unbelievable, Vito is getting tired, which is fair enough, he's played a lot of games in the last week, so yeah, flares are going off, we just scored, I can't get over it. I actually can't get over it. That was beautiful. We have to guard against complacency because the same thing happened last time. We were winning and the second half started and we played bad. So yeah, let's just jump into the second half and hopefully we can continue playing the way we're playing. That, wow, that was a start. That was a start. What can I say? 
they are not playing well. Their right back is getting pissed. I'm going to praise the players for doing well. And we are recording. That is good. It's very important to know that we are recording. I mean, not the most interesting games. You know, we've had a lot of controversy. But that means Delja and Illich. Why? Why? I know he's one card from suspension. But he's been on one from suspension for years now. I think it's time for a double sub. What we can do is do... Oh, man. I love the fact that we have so many sub options. What we're going to do, I'm going to put Dragon on. Dragon is very good. And uh, I know Sumo might have been a good shout, but Dragon needs more game time. And Dragon is good enough, I think, to do well here. Zdelchar is getting chuggy. So what we're going to do as well, we're going to put uh, Illich on. A Secundo Volante. And um, yeah, there's nothing much to talk about this game apart from that, once again, outrageous assist, which I hopefully will remember to add something to the end of the game. Oh my god, 92, hey. 93. Let's go! We beat Red Star, our first Vichiti Derby win. We have done it. Vlahovic with the goal. Vlahovic has won us the game. But I do want to say that Zivkovic deserved everything because he completely shut out literally the whole left side of Red Star, which is incredible. Look at that disgusting ratings between those two. And also, that outrageous cross from absolute, like literally downtown. That is incredible. We have done well. The club is proud. We have finally done it. We have finally beat our horrible rivals. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm absolutely delighted. As you can see, if we continue to perform as we have, we can keep this going forever. Do you fear complacency? Uh, no, because these guys are incredible. Look at that. 10 points ahead of Red Star. That is a good, good place to be. Look at that. And the board tried to sack me last season. How about that? That is awesome. See, I told you these players needed some time to develop. We only signed one guy, and he's not even a key player. Vlahovic is stupidly good. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We have beaten Red Star. We have finally done it. Stojkovic not impressed. I just said that he was talking shit. I, okay. I wish you could just like football. But we're good friends. I, I, I Sometimes... In this game, I somehow managed to be better friends with my rivals than with the players or the teams that we should be friendly with, which I don't know how that happens, but it happens. So apparently I have a good relationship with Dragan Stojkovic, Stojkovic sorry, which um, which is good. Maybe that's why. But mind games, I don't do mind games. I'm not Mourinho. I'm not as good as Mourinho. I wish I was because that'd be cool. But yeah, wow, we have done it. And we have 10 days to rest after well, two games in seven days. So, what does this mean for us? This means that we are in a great position. This means we're going to be taking on Monaco in the next game. And if we do well against that, we probably can go on a holiday break, which I really need to at this point. So, what are we going to do? Pretty much, we're going to play the next two games off camera. Next episode, we're going to see you for the Monaco game, which is going to be an important game because, as you can see here, look at this. We are... If we wouldn't have lost to Rubin, we would have been so far up. So now we're hoping that Nitra can steal some points. We're hoping that Monaco can steal some points for Rubin. And hope we can destroy Monaco themselves. Right. I hope you had a fantastic time. I hope you enjoyed seeing me win two games today, which is incredible. Two for the price of one. Thank you very much. I uh, tried my best. I hope you enjoyed this thing falling and didn't fall again. Uh, so if I don't move at all or don't breathe, it'll be fine. So yeah. We are top of the league, which is incredible. We are second of Europa Cup, which is also incredible. And if that's not a reason to leave a like on my videos, again, don't know what is. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see Partizan doing well and dominate Europe. And I'll see you guys, well, in the game against Monaco. Bye, guys.